I'll give you Blackbeard's honest opinion. You ask me, can this new captain promise you a life of prizes, plunder, and adventure? Aye. For amongst all. By God, you're a sight for salty eyes. Come you in and have a drink. Morning, all. Oh, I can wait. Who's this? Adewale, the Jackdaw's quartermaster. Jackdaw. <laughs> you named your brig after a poxy bird. Adi, these lads are the better part of our growing confederacy here. Ed Thatch, Ben Hornigold, James Kidd. You let him carry a pistol, do you? Peace, Ben. Ade saved my life. And now we're looking to find a crew to fill out the rest of my ship. Well, there's scores of capable men about. But use caution. A shipload of the King's sailors showed up a fortnight back, causing trouble and knocking about like they own the place. Right. I'll see who I can muster. I'll put them to work. Cheers, Addy. Thanks. Kenway, isn't it? I'm with you.
Come fast! The soldiers have kept a man in iron to be him! This pirate bears the blood of many innocents on his hands! His Majesty's honorable representative has decreed the sentence shall be to hang by the neck until death! I or my crew will find a way to settle the score, Russell. You have my solemn oath on that. Stop I or my crew will find a way to settle Got him sighted. <laughs> Now you'll want to sail somewhere rich with plunder. Have you heard of a place called the Observatory? Aye. It's an old legend, like El Dorado or the Fountain of Youth. What have you heard? 
It's meant to be a temple or a tomb, hiding a treasure of some kind. That's it. You see here. Oh, oh rot. It's fairy stories you prefer a gold, is it? It's worth more than gold, Thatch. Ten thousand times above what we could pull off any Spanish ship. Robbing the king to pay his porpoise is how we earn our keep here, lad. It ain't a fortune. It's a fantasy. Not a bad-looking tinderbox you got there. You sound a bit green, horny gold. Is it envy? Because mine's bigger than yours. No, I reckon it's this Jamaican funk. I prefer the Spanish stuff. So, you've got yourself a fancy brig now. Fine. Well, I'm gonna teach you how to say the right. And how to take a prize the proper way. Thatch, we'll catch you up at the old fishing village. Aye. Right. Where's your helmsman, Kenway? I take pride in piloting my own ships, Ben. Keeps me alert. Let's make some headway, shall we? I've no need for schooling. How many prizes did we take together as privateers? <laughs> There's a chasm of difference between joining a raid and captaining one. We're looking out for merchants, boys! Them that's fat with cargo! There's a prize worth taking. Good! Take us in close. After you subdue a prize, project authority. Demand respect that you would never give yourself. This weaves a spell for soft minds. For your victims must always have in the back of their minds the uneasy idea that you could snap at any moment and unseen them from prick to stone. Fire what can as you will, and land a few strikes if you must, but for God's sake, don't sink them. It's no fun fishing cargo out of the sea, although it can be done. Ready? Fire! Shut Not good enough! They're deployed to damage her! She's disabled now and taking on a decent amount of water. So keep your cannons quiet. Take care not to sink her. Tengo un buen día, señor. I am Captain Hornigold, and this is my crew. We're sailors like yourselves, but quite unalike in our purpose. For we intend to take all that you owe. Yet no harm shall befall any man so long as he remains at ease. Is that clear? No me mate, señor. Tengo familia. Se lo suplico. Anyone speak English? English! L little bit. Tell your friends we're stealing your goods. And we won't hurt nobody if everyone stays as still as a sandbar. You got that? Please do repeat. Oh, for fuck's sake. Lock them in the hold and take everything that isn't nailed down. Good take today, Kenway. 
half a dozen scores of that size and you'll be set for a year. Well, let's sell this cargo and fix up your jack door with a few more trinkets. Sod a year. I'm looking for a price that'll set me up for life. I'll be king of the West Indies then. We came to Nassau to get away from the likes of kings. Well, I'll be a man of property and promise anyway. Jesus, let that dream go, lad. Nassau is the place to be, not in here. Do you ever dream of the big score? A ship so full of gold and silver, just split it and sail home. Sure, but it's only a dream. Every man hopes to find a dozen chests of gold with no owners. They're as rare as an honest king. Let's get moving! Stop us! Grief the topsoil and gallop! Swim us off the wind! Bring it all, sir! Come and tight! Captain's trick! Puedo ayudar. Uh, take today. Keep this up and Nassau will be the first city where men and women may live as God made them. Easy and free. All it takes is a few drops of blood, sweat, and a swatch of cloth. We fly no colors out here. But praise the lack of them. So let the black flag signal nothing but your allegiance to man's natural freedoms. This one's yours. Fly it proud. I will. I hand over the docket I lend you. If we're to keep our Republic afloat, we'll need guns as well as gold. That means attacking the Navy. So long as they're flying King Philip's colors will not offend our own monarch.
As you've likely seen, the number of merchants roving these waters is three score the number of military ships. Right. Easy purchase, but in small doses. Right. So to lure the Navy out of hiding, it's best to cause a bit of mischief. Catch a few small fish to attract the big ones. That's right. Fit, Good eye, man. Are you ready for this, Kenway? She won't go down without an honest fight. Who's up for taking that break, lads? Show die! That's a sound I like to hear. Pipe to quarters. All hands to cannons. Careful around the name. They're as likely to ram you as fire a broadside. Let's test those powder barrels against them. Shall we? All right, good thinking. Dropping mines would curb her ability to ram us. Douse the gallants and royals! I said douse! Douse the four, hurry! Every last scrap of duck on the wind! Who stops them, gallants and royals? Fire! Yeah! Awaiting orders! Press for embrace! Reef in all time! Okay. Use chain shot to slow her down!
researchers, but in small doses. Right. So to lure the Navy out of hiding, it's best to cause a bit of mischief. Catch a few small fish to attract the big ones. That's right. So plunder and pillage as you see fit, Captain Kenway. Good eye, man. Are you ready for this, Kenway? She won't go down without an honest fight. Who's up for taking that brig, lads? So die! That's a sound I like to hear. Pipe to quarters. All hands to cannons. Careful around the Navy. They're as likely to ram you as fire a broadside. Let's test those powder barrels next Shall we? Fine. Good thinking. Fire! Ah! 
That was a rumble, by God. How do we fare? A fine purchase, no mistake. Now, I think it's time to lay low and bribe our way back into secrecy. Agreed. So, how do we get rid of this variety of scurvy? Money, my boy. Well-placed bribe for the right government official. See the military off your tail. Right, let's do that. I'll need to meet these good Samaritans at some point. Smart thinking. The gallant the royal. Whole hearty lads, fill them. Loose the main sails. Loose the mains, half sails. Get them aloft. Douse all sail. Pull, pull all sail. Do you hear the news? Oh, 
You need to vanish, friend. Lovely. I'll make sure they forget you, friend. You're a wonder, Kenway. You've a knack for this kind of work. It ain't work if you love it. Ah! Ah! It's But I ain't doing this forever, lads. Only until I get enough coin to buy some land and influence back home. <laughs> Jesus, will you listen to your tripe? Still dreaming on about that strumpet back in England when you could have any better you wanted here and now. Ah, such lofty goals for you gents. And here I thought I was in the company of scoundrels. Fine purchase today. What's the crew's mood? All smiles and no teeth. And there's a few talking about meeting with Master Kid to steal from a nearby plantation. Plantation? That's ambitious. Profitable too, if we can manage it. Aye. It's a good idea. <laughs> 